So as gamers, we try to find the best way to improve our gaming experience, especially on mobile devices. Uh, they have many controllers out there that I've tried. Some are good, some are bad, some are portable, some are not. You name it, right? Sometimes we even look at gaming phones, like the Red Magic 5G, gives us triggers, the Black Shark, uh, and stuff like that, you know, to improve our gameplay experience. But what about using a dedicated controller that can cover all realms? Now, I thought that was the Razer Jungle Cat. Really love that controller, connects via Bluetooth. It has, of course, uh, joysticks that can be split off. It's got a case that you can attach, which will work for devices like the S10 and you know the Razer phone, but not the plethora of Android devices or even iOS devices as well, especially with the case. But here comes the Razer Kishi. Now the Kishi first saw it at uh, CES, uh, 2020 and this looked like it was taking it to the very next level kind of reminds me when you when you have it with your phone docked in like uh, a game gear if you remember that uh, that was a really cool gaming device this kind of looks the same so the kishi itself folded in looks like a standard game controller it does not have bluetooth connectivity because it, it connects directly docked into your phone what i mean by docked into your phone it connects directly to your phone via a usb type c port now that dock allows this device to be used with any Android phone. It fits sizes all the way to about, I believe, 6.9 inches or more. Um, so I've tried it with the Galaxy Note 20, there's 10 Plus, um, you know, P40 Pro, OnePlus 8 Pro, you name it, they all fit in. So whatever Android device you have will work with this. Now, if you're an iOS user, you're thinking, what about iOS devices? Well, it will work with that as well. Not this variant, there is a variant for iOS devices coming out later on this year. So with this, what do you have? Well, when you look around uh, the controller itself, especially when it's opened up, on the right-hand side, you've got your XYBA buttons, you've got your right trigger below, I like that positioning. You've also got the vents that look like air vents, but it's actually for the speakers to channel sound up. You've got a port button there, it could be your start button, depending on what you're playing. Um, and then below that is a USB port, USB type C port. Now on the left hand side, you've got your left trigger on the top. You've got an eight way D-pad. You've got another kind of uh, reverse play button and a home button as well. So you've got button functionality. And on the shoulders, you've got your R1 and R2, L1 and L2 on either side. Uh, it's got nice grippable uh, feel to it. So while you're using it to play, it feels like you're using a regular controller. Now that USB Type-C port is pass-through only, so when you plug it in, it'll actually charge your device because this draws power from the device itself. It doesn't have any battery power included. So open it up, you can fit any smartphone in here. And how does it work with the games you have? So let me start off with what it does really well. Now, if you're playing uh, Project X Cloud, GeForce Now, or Stadia, it works like that. You basically take your device, you plug it in, you power up, say, Stadia, you can start playing games on Stadia right away. No issues, no fuss, no stress. Boom, all buttons are recognized, you're good to go. I will mention this, there's a slight issue with Samsung devices where the D-pad has some wonky functionality, but I hear that uh, an update is coming to, to patch that with Samsung. But that being said though, it works really well with Stadia, when you go to xCloud, whatever games you're playing, you're playing a racing game, uh, you're playing you know, a fighting game, you're playing Devil May Cry, all those games work with, well with it, as well as also GeForce Now. So your game streaming platforms, they work really well. Now moving away from game streaming, uh, when it comes to um, Android games, here's where it's still a mixed bag for now. So there's certain games that have controller uh, functionality built in, it works directly with it. So example, a great example is Fortnite. Fortnite works with the controller, you plug it in, I was using the, the OnePlus 8 Pro, playing at 90 hertz, boom, good to go. I was playing Fortnite, it felt good, uh, it felt really nice. Now there is a Kishi app, but I have to tell you the app is quite limited. You don't have mapping capabilities here. So games uh, like Call of Duty Mobile, which have map, which require map mapping capabilities is not available yet for. So that will come with time, but any games that support, supports controller on that Android ecosystem, you can actually use it. I have to say though, that puts me in a very interesting predicament. Is this the most perfect game controller? I would say maybe not. 
uh, because you still have the limitations of certain games. You can't remap a lot of games yet for it, but it definitely works for streaming services. Now, the idea of having the direct input via USB Type-C gives it an added advantage. Basically, it works well and gives you great input controls for things like playing on Stadia, playing on xCloud, or even playing uh, with your Android game. So you've got better control functionality with the controller itself as opposed to Bluetooth connectivity where you might have issues. The downside for now, it's not everything is mapped. And also again, you can't use it as a standalone controller because you have to be plugged into your phone. I do like it and I like it as a really solid alternative for a lot of people who are looking for game controllers. And I think this is the right start to have. You've got this kind of options where you've got say the Jungle Cat, which is an option with Bluetooth connectivity. It's also a little bit smaller and more portable. While you've got uh, the Kishi, which takes you to a full gaming experience, uh, plugged in directly and gives you some really good gameplay functionality. I like it. I like to see more improvements. I like to see more syn synergistic approach, especially on the Android side, where once I plug this in any game, it should work with any game I pick up. So there you have it, guys. That is the Razer Kishi. Now, if you're looking for a mobile game controller that can take things to the next level and give you some really solid gameplay functionality, this might be the device for you. Uh, it only costs for $79.99. The iOS variant will come this summer, so we'll definitely check that out once it hits. But don't forget to like, share, subscribe, guys. And if you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll try and answer them for you. Stundi E saying thank you and always enjoy entertainment.